I'm hoping this video will help anybody who are who will be using the digital temperature controller. Uh, my brief story is I had uh, an MH1210, I believe the uh, the first one I had, and I had the problem with after all of a sudden after three days, the uh, the relay would stick on, and it cooked my first batch of eggs. Uh, the temperature went up to like 150, 160 degrees. So I thought I had a bad uh, bad controller. So I went out and bought this um, new one from uh, Inkbird. I bought it because it was actually had a name to it rather than just a no name. Connected it up. It all worked fine through the test. And then uh, today, I so had the uh, incubator on for three. Yeah, three days. This is actually the fourth day. Going on the fourth day. And uh, I walk back out 10 minutes later. Everything was fine. 10 minutes later, I come out, and the temp was up to 138. So my assumption is these shouldn't be... This is where I had it installed. I installed it inside the incubator, uh, you know, with the actually with the, the circuitry uh, inside the incubator. Uh, incubator 100 degrees. So I, my assumption is you cannot put these uh, in the... Inside the incubator, uh, the 100 degrees is too much, and 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 they fail, or the relays stick. Once I took it out, and it cooled down, so far it's working. But uh, my suggestion would be to mount it on the outside, rather than mounting it on the inside, and uh, to av avoid, you know, the relay sticking. I'll monitor it again. If there's any changes, I'll add to this video. But uh, uh, I don't want to uh, go through another batch of eggs, uh, cost me money. Uh, after all the uh, work on the incubator and the pen trying to keep uh, costs down and just using pieces parts. So uh, hopefully this helps you.